Hi, my name is Ashish. I'm a senior software engineer at Wisetech Global. Hi, my name is Ruru and I'm a software engineer at Wisetech Global as well as a third year software engineering student and co scholar at UNSW. Hey, I'm Cody Love, productivity architect at Wisetech. I did a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology at UTS. Hi everyone, my name is Tanzim Saeed and I'm currently a software engineer here at Wisetech Global. I'm also a software engineering student in my fourth year of my degree at the University of Technology of Sydney. I have finished my post-graduation in computer science and engineering. It was my passion for programming that led me down to this career path. When I was in high school, I had my mind set on a career in medicine. Um, programming was a hobby, however, the more I learned about it, the more I saw the scalability of software and decided that even if I wanted to do something medical, that software could probably be the way to go. I chose to pursue a career in tech because of the culture, which is really welcoming, dynamic and innovative. Through my sister, who's also in tech, in programs such as the UNICEF Co-op program and Access for Women, I was able to understand the changes and impacts the industry brings and the role we play in driving those changes. I was always looking for something that I could do now rather than waiting to finish high school or graduate university. I was about 14 years old when I wrote my first line of code and I was really intrigued by the idea that when you typed something, we were able to see the difference almost instantly. My day-to-day -day work involves developing and maintaining code for mobile application, web pages and database. In my current role, my responsibilities include implementing scalable and extensible software solutions through designing, coding and testing as well as collaborating. In my current role, I lead the productivity architecture team which define and refine the operational practices that we use here at WiseTech Global. In my current role, I work with my team where we teach the WiseTech way to other people in the company. The WiseTech way embodies the strategies, tactics, um, tools, processes, and it makes up the way we operate here at WiseTech. My career highlight so far would be building custom tools and framework to speed up development. I have also contributed to fixing security issues and performance tuning of existing applications. My career highlight so far would definitely be the fulfillment when my code is checked in and in production, as well as when I get to support others, whether it be answering a question or participating in programs, knowing I was able to help someone. My career highlight so far would definitely be um, getting an internship at Google at the age of 15. I always felt like I needed to wait for something and you know, make things happen, but it's incredible what will actually happen if you reach out and make the effort my advice to someone about to embark on a career in tech would be to stay motivated and keep learning every day. Remember, this industry is very dynamic but at the same time, it gives you a lot of opportunities in so many areas. You get to decide what works best for you. I'd recommend doing personal projects, building your skills and putting things to use to try lots, fail fast and improve rapidly. My advice to someone about to embark on a career in tech would be to find and develop your own support network because it's a lot more comforting knowing you're not in it yourself and it makes your journey a lot more enjoyable. In my opinion, the career opportunities for those studying in fields like software engineering, computer science, IT in general, the idea is how we can automate and enhance current ways that we're working on and how to make it better. I think it's really important that you like problem solving and you like that critical and logical thinking. There's a lot of skills in tech, like producing a great user experience, optimizing the performance of code or being really fast or being really thorough. Being really good at one of those things is a lot more useful and brings a lot more to the table when you're joining a team than being kind of all right at a lot of them. In my opinion, the career opportunities for those studying in this field are endless because there's so many areas you can be involved in. Depending on what your interests align with, it's applicable to almost every industry, even if you're interested in finance or business. You can choose to be a programmer, a tester, an analyst, or even a researcher. When you do take this career path, you will always be solving some real-world problems and you will get to interact with people from diverse team. A challenge people will face in tech is what to specialize in. There are so many areas and skills within tech. Um, it can be really difficult to figure out like what exactly you want to do, whether you want to do like embedded stuff or uh, programming and then what type of programming. So I'd recommend to try and figure that out to identify some opportunities to get experience. Things like a personal project or a group project work experience or joining a programming society. Opportunities that you face as a student when you embark in a career in technology are absolutely endless. 
it's amazing how broad it is, but it also means that you need to stick at it. And sometimes things may get hard and sometimes you do want to give up. Give everything and give everything you do the best you can. Throughout your education in this field, you may realize that there's a lot of different areas that tech encompasses. For example, security, software development, and even then you have front-end, back-end, and different programming languages to learn. I think this is both a challenge and an opportunity to explore and experiment to find where your passions are.